Now to a story that caught our eye. There's one rehabilitation center in New York State that is helping some animals get the special care they need. Our friend Ava Maldonado has details. Say hello to Cinnamon, a wild eastern cottontail rabbit who was rescued by Cottontail Wildlife Rehab. Our goal is to rescue and rehabilitate injured and orphaned New York State wildlife. So we take care of animals anywhere from squirrels, cottontails, to um, foxes and some birds. Um, so some animals can be released in as little as a week. Um, that's usually the shortest amount of time it takes. Um, and other animals might take months to release back into the wild. Um, so it all just depends on what their specific needs are. Potato is another orphaned wild eastern cottontail rabbit, joining more than 100 others being cared for at this rehab center. A lot of them don't like to drink milk from the bottle. They have a really hard time doing that, but he was so funny. He was like a champion of drinking his bottle. He would just drink it so incredibly fast. It was amazing. So it was no surprise that Potato grew into a big rabbit very quickly. Come on, you can do it. Potato and Cinnamon were both released back into the wild last fall. And did you know a baby rabbit is called a kit or a kitten? Meantime, sisters Starla and Twyla were kittens when they first arrived. As the only survivors from their nest, they were placed into a neonatal enclosure. We were able to give the medicine formula raised them up and they got nice and big and strong and were able to go out. I think just a few weeks later, they were able to be released back into the wild. Hold your buddy, you're beautiful. Go ahead. Rosie was a bit older when she came in. Rosie was hit by a car. So she came into us, she was actually completely paralyzed. And we, surprisingly enough, do get quite a few paralyzed rabbits into our rehab. And we actually have a really good rate of survival for them. They do heal, and a lot of them do get to go back out into the wild. It, she took a little over four months to recover, but eventually she did regain full movement and she was able to be released. And animal care experts say there's an important distinction kids should know about wild and domesticated rabbits. Wild rabbits definitely do not make good pets. They don't like being handled. They are very afraid of people and that's in their nature. Domesticated rabbits, there's a misconception that they're really easy animals and that they belong in cages. Um, and they don't need a lot of attention. It's actually the opposite. They're a lot like a dog or cat in that they need um, daily exercise, attention. They really don't do well in cages. They need a lot of space. They need fresh food every day. Um, and they need a lot of love and care. They are so smart and so intelligent. We have rabbits here that are domestic that can solve puzzles. If you happen to spot a rabbit who might need some extra help, there are some do's and don'ts. Kids are great stewards of nature, and a lot of times the first people that will find these animals are children that are outside, you know, in their yards and gardens. And so what we always say to parents and children is, if you see animals outside and you're not sure if they need help, to go and get an adult. And um, the last thing you should do is pick them up and touch them, especially if you are a child. Uh, you wanna be safe because some wildlife can bite or you can inadvertently injure them by handling them. Some important advice coming from a caring place, helping animals in need. So on the days that we take them out and we release them, it's such an amazing thing to take part in because you see it in their eyes and in the way they hold their bodies that they're so excited to see the sky again. They're so excited to be outside again. And they almost immediately look up and they jump out and take off. It feels like you've done something really great when you've been able to help an animal and you can see it through to completion.